Hi, in this session I'm going to go over how to fill in a series of dates and I'll show you a couple examples of what you can do. So let's go with this first example. How do you fill in a series of dates using the fill handle? Let me go ahead and put today's date. I'll use the keyboard shortcut control semicolon and that's going to put in today's date. I'm going to do a control enter to stay within that cell to have it entered in there. And using the fill handle is this little dark square at the bottom here. All I need to do is left click and drag it down and it's going to fill out the other date and it's going to increment the dates by one, the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. So that's one way of doing it is to fill out dates in in a table. Another way uh, to fill out dates is also using the fill, hand, fill handle but let's say that we want to fill uh, every other date. We want to we want to increment every other date. So I'm going to use control semicolon to get today's date again. Uh, press control enter to stay within that cell. And here I'm going to enter in a formula. I'm going to call this uh, equals equals this above date plus two. So it's going to be every other date. Every other date, right? So 23, 25. And all I need to do is select those two cells. Click the fill handle here. Left click and drag. And you can see it's, oops. Let me go ahead and undo that. Control Z. It's I don't need to select that date. Since this one's got the formula, I'll go ahead and select that and just control just left click and drag it down. You can see now it's got every other date, 25th, 27, 1, 3, 5. So another way of doing this is actually just using the fill handle with these two. I don't need to create another formula. So I just press uh, keyboard shortcut, control semicolon press enter to get into the next cell and I'll just type in 2-25-2013. Control enter to stay within that cell and here in this example I'm going to select both of these cells and then left click and drag and you'll see that the output is the same as the other one. So instead of using the formula I can just type in those two dates um, so it's going to be every other date and it will do the same thing as this one here. Now let's say I've, if I just wanted one date to go all the way down, control semicolon to get today's date, control enter to stay in the cell. Now I can do a control C to copy that and just select those cells and control V. That's one way of doing it, but there's another way to do it. Let me control Z to get out of there. Press escape. Another way to do it is just to select that cell, bring the fill handle. Well, I don't even need to use the fill handle. I'm just select that cell and left click and and drag it down so I selected all those cells and press Control D and what it's what Control D is Control duplicate so it duplicated that cell all the way down so that's another way to fill down fill a series of dates down. Now there's another way that we can fill a series of dates and let me go ahead and do a trick here where I'm going to fill across some. Here's one example. I'm going to select that fill handle and drag it to the right two spaces. So I'm going to show three examples. Click one example, two, and three. So there's another way to do it. This this is not with dates, but this is with numbers. You can see how Excel is kind of smart enough to do that. So let's start with the first example. Let me do control semicolon, control enter. So instead of left clicking the fill handle here, I'm going to right click it and drag down. And once I let go, a short another menu is going to show up here where I can fill it in. So I can fill it in by days, weekdays, months, or years. If I fill it in by days, it's going to be the exact same example as column A. So you can see there, it's the exact same thing. It just fills it out one one day ahead. I'm doing Control, control Z to stop that uh, or undo that. Let me show you the other uh, options that you have. Right click, drag it down. The menu is going to pop up here. And, it, and you see there are other options here. Fill weekdays. So it's going to fill just the weekdays, just the workdays, Monday to Friday. Unfortunately, uh, our example here, the 23rd, is a Saturday. So let's, let's make this into a Friday. The 22nd is a Friday. And if I right click the fill handles and go down and just fill weekdays, you can see now that the 24th, 3rd, Saturday, and the 24th are missing now are gone from this series of dates. So it has removed the weekends. It just shows the work days. So another example with the right click, let me go ahead and control semicolon, control enter to stay in that cell. If I right click, I can also fill in with 
a the months. So I can do February 23rd, March 23rd, April 23rd, May, etc. And also control I can do years. So control semicolon to get today's date, control enter to stay in that cell, right click the fill handle, and I can fill the years. So I can do 2013, February 23rd, 2013, February 23rd, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. So here are a couple examples of how you can fill in a series of dates using the fill handle, uh, left clicking, or using control D to copy the exact same date, or using the fill handle with the right click to fill in the work days, the months, or the years. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.